Hello, I'm Ed Trillison. Welcome out of Hearts of Iron 4 as Independent India. Let's continue on. We're making a push for Madrid. Ooh, actually, you, my good friend, need a plan of attack. That needs to include Bucharest. There we go. You're not ready to do the attack? Why? Because some divisions are not in position. Seriously. Like one division. Do it. I don't care. Yeah, and we're actually really crushing face here. Yeah, we're good. Meanwhile, Madrid's going to go down. I'm looking forward to that. I mean, you know, who wouldn't? Probably the people who live in Madrid, I'll be completely honest. The people who probably aren't looking forward to me taking over the capital of their home country and being ruled by people from India, which is a third of the way around the globe. Probably, probably the Spanish themselves. That is probably the demographic we have to worry about. But it's good. You know, Spain's only like... Ah. I see a problem with our foreign policy plans. It's possibly India hasn't fully thought through the ramifications of its actions yet. Um, we'll work on those. Overrun. Move in here, murder that. Move in here, murder that. And done. There we go. Madrid is ours. We've got to go all the way down to Seville, which we apparently seem to be doing with some sort of competency. Without us actually asking. That's weird. It's also because we've got the air on be aggressive, which means it goes, oh, look, a hole, and it just rushes it to fill it. That said, sometimes it really doesn't, and I kind of get really concerned when that happens. And Portugal is now worried. The problem is, I would love to glare on Portugal, but I have no way which way they'd flip. They'd probably flip to the Allies, and um, that would kind of suck, because I don't really want a war with the Allies. Portugal have an amazing opinion with me, because we're trade partners. Why have you not given up yet? Oh, we're still not taking Bucharest? Really? Huh. I gotta admit, for a country that's kind of, you know, on my map is just annoying, you've done not too bad, Romania. That is a, like a massive um, compliment for me. You've not, you've done not too bad. Massive compliment right there. And they are still holding out. Hmm. We'll work on you. You'll die eventually. Uh, Spain, seriously? Please die already. Nobody liked you to begin with. We're going to take your capital and make you cry. There we go. That's how it's done. Uh, now I actually do not know what to do with the army. We can send them all the way to Asia, which I think we'll actually probably end up doing. Nashua Spain does have promises over here. Uh, I have no way of getting to that. Um, it's very tempting to just throw the stone at Portugal and be like, okay, Portugal, see what you've got. And I might just do that. Because I'm a horrible person. Yes. Yes, I will do that. Booker is still holding out. You are annoying. Ooh. We might have Booker rest here. Yes. Just need to take this one last province. Which we should have any minute. Come on. Come on. You got you got this. I believe in you. There we go. And now you made it redundant because I'm going to move the entire force over here. Mm. 
I mean, you could actually be making more headway here for sure. But, you know, I appreciate the effort, or at least the thought. That goes into the very little effort you've actually given. Yeah, we should be there ahead of them. And then they should die. Which is the way I like it. Right, now, will you please just do me a favor and die? How are we doing up here? I mean, I could put more forces into this, but honestly, I really can't bother. I will, however, begrudgingly give you the order to advance down there and take that. Because it'll somewhat secure a flank. It'll make it easier on us. We also might as well wipe out these annoying packets over here. Packets? Pockets. That's the thing. Hi, Portugal. I'm really tempted to declare war on Portugal, guys. It's probably a very bad idea. But I'm going to do it because that's just how I roll. You're not diplomatic, so you probably won't join the Allies. Maybe. Porto. No. Lisbon. Yes. Probably actually the bottom one. What's the bottom one called? Beja. Yeah. I like that one a lot more. Also, um, you are part of the Iberian region, which means that we already have a lot of air power over there. Let's just get some more power over there, right? There we go. And honestly, these ones are a little bit far out of town. So let's just uh, put them more in town. Just trying to get as much air support as we can. Right, we've got strength coming into this to try and buff the uh, kind of horrendous situation that we've kind of done up in. Um, including the fact that we have a random German cavalry over here because reasons. Also, there's a very badly uh, maintained tank over here. A heavy tank. It's not really the ideal terrain for you, but sure. In fact, is it flats here? It might actually be getting towards flats. Which point, I guess it is. Uh, steps. Steps are probably very good for tanks. That said, I think you're still coming over the hills, so not great. Um, meanwhile, pushing down into Korea. Uh, sorry, true Korea. I think we're almost ready for our tanks. You totally got this. I believe in you. All lacking fuel. Ooh. That's not good. I'm not quite sure why they're lacking fuel. Might be something to do with the fact that we're really far away. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, no. 15 infantry divisions is just not going to cut it. God's sake. Thank you, Lion Class. I'll be back with you in a minute. Right. Try that again. There we go. That push is going to go a little bit better now. I selected over... Really? I se there we go. Lady Nell. Right. Let's look at that Lion Class again. I think we're going for, like, the next one up, weren't we? Lion class, lion class, lion class. There we go. So we're going for the Vanguard. Yeah. Right, you got this. Meanwhile, Portugal. Hi, how you doing? Probably well defended, because that's how you roll. But I don't care. We got this. 
How's our supply situation? Mm. Oh, great. Uh, reinforcements is on the max for supplies, so... Not much more we can do! I mean, I hear some of you saying, oh, you could, you know, prioritize messing around with the infrastructure to make it a little bit better. You could optimize your, your you know, production strategy. And, you know, those are all valid reasons, but I'm lazy. Um, so, sadly, that, that's just not going to happen. Come on. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Or we could, you know, spend a while marching. Strategic Bomber 3. Jet Bomber. And ahead of time penalties reduced. Which is good, because it's still going to take, like, almost two years. Which is basically forever. What am I looking for? That. Yes. Alright, Strategic Bomber. You need to replace with Strategic Bomber 3. And also, I think, because we've got full, we'll also increase your range to max. That way you should have a pretty damn good range. That's all we need to drop nuclear bombs, because that's what we want from it, right? We just want the ability to drop a nuclear bomb from really far away and murder everyone else with radiation, because we're the good guys, right? We are the good guys, right? Uh, offensive line. Oh, we've got our reasons for conquering uh, Portugal. The reason mostly being they have resources and we want them. Quite frankly, I think it's a very historically uh, accurate reason. Um, backed up by all modern good walls. And also the bad walls. Okay, why did we do that? Right. There we go. And then select half. There we go. It's still really messy. And oh, for God's sake. I don't know why this is coming off here. Or why we have a separate one for that. You know, this is probably fine. Just all do this. Or not, because for some reason... There we go. I deselected you. That would actually make sense that time. Right. Yeah, do that. And then... Available war goal. Declare war. And you're gonna die. I um, would be sorry, but I... Don't feel the emotion of regret. And they're now on the fascists. Which is actually really good for us. Okay, so the war's going iffy at the moment because we're going kind of aggressive, but uh, in a more realistic sense, I think we're just going to run them over with numbers and then murder them all. We've still got 25 million left and we're on a volunteer-only army. Like, literally, people are queuing. They're like, I really want to be in the army and get murdered. Are you sure? You know, we've only got, like, one gun for every ten minutes. Oh, no, that's fine. I really want to be in the army. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll put you on the list. There are, like, 25 million other people ahead of you. Okay, well, you know. Can I pay you to get higher on the list? Uh, maybe. We'll, we'll talk about it. Right, landing craft. Recon company. Definitely landing craft three. That's going to help. And, I mean, especially for, like, the invasions, for instance, Britain and America, which we'll have to have at some stage. Uh, and then we also want to grab... I mean, night vision? You could talk about it. But in a more real sense, I definitely think that we could do some of these. By the way, some people have asked me, like, why don't Field Hospital? Because Field Hospital does two things. Firstly, uh, it gives you trickle back in terms of population so people die they sometimes don't die they sometimes get treated and then they live and then you can re-recruit them and sometimes it also like recovers the experience loss that they get from combat because when you go in combat and people die sometimes it's veterans they know stuff and you lose experience but this basically is like yeah 
maybe the veterans get better. We don't need the former because we have so many people, we don't need any medical care. Uh, we can just put new people in their place. We don't maybe put that on the brochures. Uh, secondly, brochures, great idea. Thirdly, I don't really care about the experience thing because we've got so many people anyway. Eh. Uh, we'll grab engineering company. And yes, they're beginning to become encircled. Hi, Brazil. A well-known contributor to the war in Europe. Oh, huh. sweet. We're not actually doing too badly here. That is not a big enough aerodrome. Hopefully there's a bigger aerodrome around here somewhere. Because then we can launch fighters to be able to take over the uh, airspace over Japan. And then we can launch nuclear bombers to... We should probably use code words for that in case they're listening. We'll talk about it. Um, that's a, Do people really understand what nuclear bombers are in these days? Yeah, I guess they do. The principles have been lined out already. Um, lined out, as opposed to, you know, outlined, which would make a lot more sense. We'll call them... Operation... I have no idea. Cake Delivery. Yes, that is now the nickname from now on. The code name for all the operations with nuclear bombs is going to be Operation Cake Delivery. Because no one will ever think of that. It could never be something dangerous. Also, Portugal, why are you not capitulating yet? You've got literally no towns left. Hi, America. You're helping. Oh my god. All their troops are trying to retreat into me, but we just managed to hold the line. And look at them getting whittled down so fast. Gone. And Portugal still haven't capitulated. What? Seriously, don't tell me I actually have to go down here. That's just going to be ludicrous. We'll talk later if we need to. For now, though, I'm getting the feeling that you can be reassigned. To this front over here. Yeah, it's a long walk, but I'm sure you'll manage it. Huh. That's annoying. How are you going to get there? Oh, okay. I thought that you were going to try and do a boat because you couldn't actually get there because it was cut off. Now it's not cut off. That's a lot better. But you're still going to leave that one person there. That's not exactly the best move. You, you do know that, don't you? God damn it. Also, why is no one just pushing this? There is like literally no one defending this. Right. Crush them, boys. Also, why are you not attacking this? I kind of feel I have to, like, constantly micromanage this front. Let's put it on aggressive and just have at it. Yeah, they've reinforced this area. This is not good. In fact, I think this is probably one of the things where we want to definitely say this is very not good. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. Also this. This is not allowed either. And Why is... Who designed that as a possible method? Just... No. Why? Why would you even think that was a viable strategy? God damn it. Right, how many have we got assigned here? All of them. That's possibly too many. We'll we'll talk about it.
Goddamn Portugal. Okay, apparently we're moving convoys around. Didn't mean to do that. Seriously, you're still holding out over here? There we go. Okay, what have we got? 200, really. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Give me some fighters. I want 180. No, 195. And then I want five. Oh, for God's sake. How do you set the limit on this? I know you can. Someone told me in the comments like there is a keyboard combo that involves alt. The problem is it's not just alt. No. I don't care. I don't care. Take them all back. Take, literally take them all back. Let's try this again. Strategic bomber three. Take five. There we go. We'll come back to you in a minute. Meanwhile, how's the war going? It's going okay. Needs work. Obviously, might as well connect them. They're out of supplies, so they could do the help. Good pity this army. They marched a very, very long way, and now they're marching all the way back. And a lot of their war plan was, oh, look, there's an enemy next to us. We should probably hit them. Right, fighters go and attack Japan. And then air superiority, which we now have total of. And then strategic bombers, which we will not give a job to, very specifically. And then Tokyo. Hi. I would like to nuke you. Osaka, nuke you. Nagasaki, how many are you worth? 30. I wish I could nuke you, but unfortunately you're actually a little bit... You have a separate island, aren't you? So, no. Um, how many are you worth? 25? Yeah, I'll nuke you. Hi, Japan. Today, a nuclear strike was directed at the heart of the Japanese Empire. The capital of Tokyo, although expected to be the target of firebombing, was never assumed to be prior to its target of the new weapon. And ultimately, perhaps due to the significance of the new capital and the Imperial Palace, which has now been destroyed, an even more all-consuming fire has already fallen on the city. Although Hirohito is reportedly to have survived, the event has raised questions about how far Japan's enemies are willing to go. If the war does not end with this, what target remains? What is left to threaten with? Does this mean the end of the Japanese Empire? Top bomb of Kyoto, local, uh, uh, legacy of beauty means nothing in a war like this. Top bomb of Hiroshima. How many more will fall before the war ends? Top bomb of Tokai. Uh, the atomic era has truly begun. Yes, yes it has. And with that, I would say that would be the end of the atomic bombing. That would be a lie. There's going to be one more. Goodbye, Nagasaki. It's been nice knowing you. Will this lead to Japanese surrender? Eventually. But I'm sure they'll be annoying until then. Uh, might as well start working on the Jet Fighter. But we now have Jet Fighter 1. Which means that we can now switch all of the fighters. Which have done pretty well with the production over to Jet Fighter. Which means that they lose all their production. Because it's annoying how it works. We should probably create a variant. But eh. Right. Japan. 47% national unity. 
If we attack, we take a couple of the bits in the center, we should win. Should win. In inverted commas. So, hi. What if you would come down here? I was to give you someone in charge, like a well respected field admiral, marshal. That's the one. Called Edward Quinn Anne. And then we would give you the order to navally attack. Like, uh, we would need this. So, like that. Right, and you'll be ready when? 84 days. In 84 days' time, we're going to try an invasion of Japan. Might not work, but we'll see. We're also going to need to pull out the entire navy which I've been building. And hopefully they won't get murdered, because if they get murdered, that will be somewhat disappointing. There are 100 destroyers, 15, um, what are you, heavy cruisers, and two battle cruisers. Although, that said, I have been building battle cruisers all over the place, and oh my god, Portugal started invading us. I take my other ball for one minute, and this happens. God damn it. And who do we put in charge of this? You, Ranger. You get more movement forest, which means you'll get there ever so slightly quicker if you go through any forest. Which means you will not get there any quicker, because, let's be completely honest, I don't think there are any forests. Which is sad. Okay. <sighs> right. I'm Nate Rosim. If you enjoyed, please like. If not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Until next episode, when we see if we can actually do an invasion of Japan. And where hopefully we can beat back the Portuguese invasion to our homeland, which is kind of embarrassing if we're completely honest with ourselves. Stay shiny. <laughs>